we decided to buy a snowmobile because it's very difficult to get around in the 4x4, isn't it? That is not it we decided to buy a snowmobile because it looks like fun and we can't be in the snow for six months and not have fun. Test driven the snowmobile though. Problem trying to get the snowmobile onto the back of the truck. It's not going to be a little problem, it's going to be a big problem. It's going to be a big problem to get there. Everybody's got a trailer around here with a ramp to, to get the to, to move their snowmobiles around. We got some advice on which one to go for, um, and we found one, but it's 600 kilometers away from Kilpus Yarvi, so we have a six hour drive there and then a six hour drive back. And the guy just turned out to be really, really nice. And he said, oh no, you must just stay in my villa. He's in Hong Kong. So he's given us instructions on how to get there, where the key is, um, where the snowmobile key is. So he's literally so trusting. Offered us his car as well. We go pick yeah. it up from the airport because you need a four by four as just a real world drive. Um, so yeah, just the nicest guy you could ever wish to meet. It's 395 kilograms that we're going to have to So lift. getting it onto the truck is going to be a problem Big as problem. well. And it's three meters long, so making it fit is going to be a problem as well. Yeah, hopefully this six-hour journey isn't going to be uh, and just a straight six-hour journey back. Yeah, with no snowmobile because we can't fit it on the back. Or, or, or I'm going to be driving the snowmobile all the way back. <laughs> I was thinking that. Five hours. That's why it's probably quicker <laughs> to You'll drive it. You'll die of cold. Um, so we've just arrived at the entrance to Nila, the owner of the snowmobile's house. This guy we've never met. He's told us we can stay here and he's still in Hong Kong. We've been driving since 12 o'clock today, it's quarter to eight. We did stop at the supermarket and grab some supplies. Um, so we've pulled off. We can't drive the whole way because it's, it's too steep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive for one and a half kilometers, park up and then walk the rest. Yeah, hopefully um, and hopefully find it, yeah. it's pitch black. Um, Neela said, if we go past the 1.5k mark, we were not coming out until summer and we're going to make sure we don't go more than one and a half kilometers. Otherwise we're staying here until summer. Right, let's go. Let's hit it. Let's hit the road. It's pretty steep, I can see. So it says from the main road, first gate, it is three kilometers to my place. You can probably quite easily drive the 750 meters to the first intersection. Not that easily. He said this is easy to drive. Otherwise we're walking three k's. Yeah, so we're walking three kilometers. Looks like we're going to be walking. Can you not make it? I don't know, they're going to try. We're going to try to gain some speed. A lot of speed. Yeah. It's flat. But if it's gripping like that, it's not going to make it, I don't think. No, so we definitely won't be able to do the one where he says it's steep. No. Oh my god, are we not going forward or backwards? No. Not even backwards? We're going sideways into the thing. Oh, can somebody get past if they need to? Looks like we're going to have to pick up the snowmobile and pull us out. Yeah, we've been stuck in the stage for about half an hour. It's about 8.30 now. Um, the kids are hungry, cold, bored. And uh, we're trying to drive out and of the snow drift and it's not happening. And I'm saying we should just walk 3Ks to the house. 1.5Ks done, 1.5 to go. It's all up here. I don't know how much you can see here, but the settings is amazing. The place is amazing. This is my favourite house I've ever lived in. It's a loft upstairs. I am in love with this place. How would we not? It's warm. It's cosy. It's I thought at first it was going to be horribly cold. In all our travels, we haven't yet had a sauna. And they do it in Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia. But how cool is this place? What do you think of a real house? What, what a nice house to actually, you know, have a break in, eh? Yeah. We've been living in the fifth wheel now for eight months. Oh my. You've got to see this. Look at this. <laughs> And it's amazing uh, to come into those space. You can, you can control the TV with a pointer stick from the pointing the thing. 
It's amazing. It's like we lived in the caveman world. Cheers. Cheers. Got that. Time to get out. Okay, it's seven o'clock in the morning. We need to go dig the car out before we block all the traffic. So we're gonna try find snowmobiles uh, and ride about three k's up the hill to get the car, uh, dig it out, and then come pick Amelia up again and load it up. This is the snowmobile that we're looking to purchase. Test driven the snowmobile though. We nearly got it out. Gabriel's driving the car and I'm digging it out and we've got some snow chains on the back trying to get it out. Uh, but we're just going to reverse the car back down to the bottom of the road. We got the car out. We're going to load it up the ramp over there and load it in the back, tie it down and job's a good one. How did you get it out? So we just we just dug the, dug the tires out, laid the snow chains on the ground and they just sort of gave it traction but we dug all the snow away all the way down to the road. Trustworthy and then, and then driver. And then Gabriel drove it out. Yeah. Gabriel drove the car out. This. <laughs> this is our snowmobile. There it is. That is what we've travelled six hours here and six hours back for the Lynx Adventure. Is that the lake sensor or the round thing? Yeah. Let's go inside and have a bath. The snow is really deep here. It's like knee deep. I don't suggest if you guys don't go on the river. So it's not frozen yet. I'm not. I am stuck in lots of snow. <coughs> Look at that. So amazing. So amazing. You have the broom run. Super broom run. We have everything, right? Oh, okay. Thank you. 
Return that way. Full lock. So you, your back's over there. Hello sweetie pie. Sorry about the wait. Things just didn't go as planned. Uh, actually, to be fair, we need to make a compromise. This is no surprise. It's coming closer. Yeah, it's not moving. I'd be careful, babe. Can you just come and have a look? Just have a look, because it looks like it's... It looks like it's going to snap. What's going to snap? Just looks dodge. Slowly? Yeah? Yeah, slowly. That's better. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to lift the back yeah. and push, and you are going to come back. Just come back ever so slightly, all right? I think we're on. Okay, we're on. We went for a little joyride on the snowmobile, and then we try to attach the snowmobile to the back of the truck. We, we thought it was going to be nice and simple. Build a ramp drive it on, tie it on, drive away. But we got it on the back, eventually, after three and a half hours of trying. It is now six o'clock and we still have a six hour drive ahead of us. It's been an adventure the last two days. But I just wanted to show you the snowmobile on the back of the truck because I know that last night we ran out of light. We started putting it on at 1 p.m. We got it on and left at about four, five, no, 5 p.m. Yeah, four hours, yeah, 5 p.m. we left just after, just after five because we were originally just going to stick it on the back of the truck, go for lunch, but sticking it on the back of the truck ended up being stick it on the back of the truck and go for dinner. So you can see we strapped it down to the hitch here and luckily the nose just fitted on the hitch and luckily the skis just fitted either side of the tow hitch. It was like it was made to measure. This time last week we were putting it on. Was it really? Mm -hmm. A week ago. It's taken that long to build up the courage to take it off. Well, you've been really poorly with the flu. So Brett's had the flu for a week and he's been on straight shifts as well at work. So we haven't had a chance to take the snowmobile off. Even though I've been dying to drive it around. So today's the day. It's been seven days. Seven days today. I'd still be lying in bed, but we have to... This is the reason this is the reason we missed putting up a video last week it was because Brett has been really ill. Go, 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 go. Whoa. Okay. So it's not gonna break the tree. my friends, is how to transport a snowmobile without a trailer. Only took us four hours first day to get it on, hour and a half to get it off.
forget to like and subscribe to our video if you want to see more videos like this.